Now, I need to put this other dove, I'm finished with this bird, so I'll close it. I need to put this other dove into this picture as well. Before I do it, I'm just going to turn off the transform tools and let's see the difference that makes. Now, another way I can put a picture in Photoshop, instead of selecting all of it, copying it and paste it, if I was to take this and just pop it somewhere on the page, I've now got two separate pictures open and when I click on this picture, it's showing me the background layer and the bird layer. And when I click on this picture, it's just showing me this layer. With this selected, I can drag that bird to the page. Now, I'll close this. When I click on this picture here, I can't see that I've selected it. Now I have, because it's moving. But the reason I can't see that I've selected it is because the transform tools, the transform controls, have been told to not show. Now they are showing. So if I select this, I'll make it a little bit bigger by holding the shift key down and I can pop this somewhere else on the page as well. That pink line you can see now is just helping me with alignment. This is telling me that the middle of these two pictures are both lined up, the top is lined up and the bottom is lined up and the same thing happens with the vertical alignment. I'll pop this picture here. If I pop a little bit off the page, that's fine as well. Now I've resized this picture. I can also rotate it. Now, just a word about rotating. The further away my cursor is, the finer the rotation. If you have a look here, it's telling me the angle there. The closer I get, tiny movements rotates it a lot so if you're trying to get something rotated just click it move your cursor a long way away I'm holding my mouse down the whole time and you get more control I'm happy with that so this time I'll double click the image and it's accepted those changes now obviously this bird is on top of that one because this layer is on top of that bird there. I'll pop him back. I'll rename this layer and I'll call this bird L for left. If I select this bird, it'll move straight away. And that's because I've got this auto select option checked. If I uncheck it, and now I'm going to click on this bird and move it. But the other bird's moving. That's because this layer is selected here. So if I wanted to move this bird, I would have to select there. And now anywhere I put my cursor on the page and click and drag, it's going to select that bird. I think it's a good idea to leave the auto select on. It just makes it easier to move elements around without having to check here what's been selected. So I have three layers here and I can see all three layers. I can turn layers from visible to invisible. The layer is still there, but what it allows me to do is to just concentrate on key elements that I want to focus on without being distracted by a busy background like this.